Hi and welcome to multiplication timetable developed using Eclipse. Okay, let's start by clicking in there and enter. Let's go for maybe 10 times table. Click on that and there. You can also clear and maybe enter 7. I'll clear and enter maybe 8 in there. There. And one thing about this timetable is if you click on the timetable without entering anything, the system will ask you to enter a value in there and you can then enter a value. You can also exit if you want or just click on yes or no. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Eclipse development environment and we use Java programming language to put one of these together. So let's do that now. Okay, let's start a new project. We go to File, New, Java Projects. Click on that and let's give that a name. I'm going to call it Times underscore table. That is the name of my project. And click on Finish. There. Now, let's see. And right here there we go okay now right click on the folder itself go to new and let's select order right here and right in there come to window builder that is how it's gonna look like when you drop it down and you come to swing designer click on swing designer and scroll down let's select application window I'm going to click on next and right there let's give that a name as well called our multiplication times table or tables all right click on finish now that that is ready right here you should see your design click on open that is your design right there you can decide to adjust the size of your frame that's about that so the next thing I want to do is right in here click on that and drop this down when you drop it down you can always divide it up so I'm going to divide it right away so I will select grid layer so select grid layer layout okay so this now is now defined as a grid layout so when you drop up down this layer this is what you will see how many columns you want I want two columns the spacing in between that is supposed to be the horizontal gap I'm gonna make that three the rows how many rows do I want I actually want just one single row and here vertical spacing I'm gonna make that three as well there that is done okay now let's go to the tools right here there they are so, but let me minimize this first and open up the palette and there to divide it up I want a label click on the label and drop it there click on another label drop it right there so I have my two labels there now the next thing we want to do is so that we can separate those separate the two columns properly select panel and drop it right in there delete the first label repeat the same thing click on the panel again drop it in there and delete the second label you can select both panel and let's come straight into the property right here let's select border and change the border to a line line border make that I'm gonna make that three let it be big yeah that's fine so I have my system right there now ready and this very one and I want to change the layout the layout I'll change that to border layout the 
is very one okay now that this one is border layout let's come to the panel here the two palette I mean the tools palette right here I'm going to select J text area for this side so click on J text area and drop it right in here and that will fill it all up now the second part of it there's a panel there and this very panel I will now divide it again into three separate rows so make sure it's selected now come here where it's a layout drop it down and select grid layer select the grid layout there now is divided it's ready for the division you want to make so column is going to be one column the spacing I want it to be three the rows I want the rows to be three and the vertical spacing I want it to be three there now get our label as usual label one label two and label three okay now we want to repeat the same thing go back grab the panel panel one delete one of the labels grab another panel panel two delete another label grab the last panel panel three and delete the last label so we have one two three cells there so select it all just like I've done come into the border here change this change the line I'm going to make that three as well there okay now up here I am going to add my text field this very one click on the text field but before then let's change this one two let's change the board the layout the layout this time will be border layout one and this one as well will be border layout okay just this two now that we have border layer here grab the j text field and drop it right in there my text field is there you can always give it a name if you want but I'm gonna give it a name it's going to be txt enter as meant to that's where you enter your text and I would then change the font of that let's change it to about 48 make that bold and come to the horizontal alignment I will get it centered there that's taken care of now come to the second panel here make sure the layout is border layout which I already have in place now let's grab a button J button click on the J button drop it right there and change that to times table and let's increase the font size to something a little bit readable maybe 36 or maybe 48 yeah there that's too much let's change it come back here let's try out 36 okay 36 is fine now the last panel here I will divide that into two again so let's come back to the layout drop it down select grid layout okay and let's change the column to two horizontal space and three row one vertical spacing make that three that's how I want it okay done now let's add label to it label one and the second label so now 
let's separate let's add a separator which is the panel click on the panel drop it in here there delete that very label add another panel right here and delete the next label now let's specify the border size the border style of this label I'm going to make them three as well line border just make it three there all done so the next thing I want to do now is to add or before adding anything let's change both of them let's change the, the layout to border click on that change the layout of these two border layout and change the other one as well to border layout there now that those are taken care of now let's come to the button click on this button drop it right there select another button and drop it right in here and change the name of that let's change it to exit and this very one we have to change the name of that one let's come right down here change that to either clear there now that those are taken care of select both bu bu both buttons and let's change the font size let's change this font size to something a little bit readable okay maybe too small let's go for 36 there might be room okay that's fine so that's taken care of now this I'm gonna call this this text area I'm gonna call it TXC times there that's fine now let's click on double click on this clear button and let's clear it in both input device there TXT time dot that will be set text where is it right here okay and make that no yeah and the other one the other one is txt enter dot set time set text and make it make it new as well there so I've cleared it that's taken care of have a good look at those two lines of code now let's take care of exit double click on the exit and here is the exit right there before I do anything I'm gonna go up here first let's define as follows okay I already have J frame that's fine so there won't be any problem so if you if you don't have private J frame you might end up with problem so exit right here so I'm gonna call that frame itself so let's say frame equals new object and the object is j frame let's open a bracket and enter exit in there there and let's use an if if j option plane dot show dialog frame That will be frame dialog frame comma then we say confirm if you want to exit there and close that let me give that let's give that a title I just call it times table times table right there so let's say comma and copy this instead of typing it all over copy that and right in here press enter paste that that I've just copied dot yes no option then come right here and just enter equals equals paste that again dot yes no option there and right here 
I will now enter a curly braces and come right here enter system dot exit there okay that is my exit this line of code here all those lines of code that's fine so exit is taken care of as well so we can now run it and you just for us to have a look at how it works in here enter whatever number in there clear enter anything in here clear exit no exit yes the exit works that's good now what we want to do is let's go straight into the design view and double click on the timetable itself so that we can populate this well first in first let's change this font let's make that maybe 36 if it's too big then we change it right there okay now double click on the timetable right in here where we have the timetable so I'm gonna enter as follows let's pick that up there we go those are the lines of code for the timetable now we have an error here let's take care of that error let's see let's change that to maybe two yeah that's fine okay so have a good look at the lines of codes before we run it so those are the lines of code for the time table itself okay so if i run it now I'm gonna click on okay i think we have an error let's find out where the error is cancel that let's see There we go. I think we have more than one of those. Get rid of that. Yeah, that's fine now. Okay, we have too many coily bracket there. So run it and see. And right there, guys. Enter whatever number you want to multiply. Click on that. That's it. But the problem is that's too big. Okay, maybe we increase that. That's one good thing about this. Okay, we can just increase it so that you can see it move that up and there guys that is how you create your own multiplication timetable in Eclipse using Java programming language so we let's see let's play that exit yes come back in here and just maybe modify this whole interface drag it down a little bit something about that now let's change this let's make it about gold 24 there and let's run it again run it again click on ok enter maybe 4 multiply there we go guys and that's how you develop your own multiplication timetable in Eclipse using Java programming language. With that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.